In the fall of 2023, Polk County Schools sent students home with devices to provide more access to learning time. iPads and laptop computers were assigned to more than 114,000 school-aged children. The increased access to technology gives students many opportunities to learn, but students need support as they learn to balance their screen time with other activities. Hello, I'm Zuli, a Polk County student. We consume technology every day. We text, socialize, and play games. We even surf the internet. But our responsibility as tech consumers is that we must take care of our health and find a balance between the internet and the real world. Our school's devices and personal ones can have many benefits. But how much screen time is too much? The American Psychological Association is currently researching the impact that screen time has on social development, physical activity levels, and sleep habits. They suggest that children learn self-monitoring skills to balance their screen time with other activities. Parents and teachers are becoming more aware of the dangers of technology overuse. Public awareness is very important. Children's authors are joining in the call for healthy choices and authentic play. I visited with Brock Hughes, an educator and owner of HB Guild Games. He had a great perspective to share with me on the importance of non-digital free time activities. What made you own a game store that does not revolve around technology use? Ah, so that's a very good question. Technology has become so prevalent in everyday society that adults and children and everybody has said, you know what, I want time away from the device because we're starting to see eye strain, we're starting to see different things, headaches, that people want to be able to step away from that. I also wanted to create a place called a third place. A uh, third place is a sociological concept on, based on societies and ideas that everybody, in order to feel whole and content with their life, needs three places in their life. First place, home. Second place, work or school and then their third place. If you go back in the history of the United States, it's been churches, 1920s supper clubs, 1940s legion halls, and you start going to bowling alleys and all these things that have developed over time. Uh, old television show that you're way too young to have watched um, called Cheers talked about the place that everybody knows your name. And so creating a third place was something I wanted to do. If you're looking to balance your device time, you can try these activities instead. Number one, try to play outside more. This activity allows social interaction with other children. Number two, make boundaries between entertainment and study time. This will help you not get distracted. Three, talk with your parents and plan family time when everyone is off their devices. The right amount of tech time each day will be different for everyone, but we should all make a plan to choose other activities too. I try to match the amount of time I spend on my device with something not technology-based. It's all about balance. What will you switch out? I play guitar bass. I like playing volleyball in my free time. Well, I like to do at home is build Lego figures like the Thor Hammer. I play soccer. 